Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are again going to understand one of the very important interview questions. What is the difference between DDL and DML in SQL? So DDL stands for data definition language and DML stands for data manipulation language. Now, if you deep dive into the meaning of definition and manipulation, the answer lies within these keywords itself. So when we say definition, that means we are defining something, right? When we say manipulation, we are manipulating something so briefly things are a little bit clearer so now if we go to the details of data definition language so what it stands for it's basically data definition it defines something so ddl or data definition language is used in sql to create a database schema when we say create database schema so basically it helps you to create the database structure then what tables will be there which columns will be there in the table say for example i am creating a database for the company right so i create create a database with the name company so that's I'll do through the data definition language when we create the database then we switch to that database we then create the tables within the database and within the table we define that these will be the columns each column will hold these sort of values this column employee ID column will hold integer name will hold the characters etc so all that definition is being defined by data definition language some of the important data definition keywords are create alter and drop so data definition language is defining language for the database the tables etc the constraints everything right it defines the, the uh, structure or the schema of the database some of the example of database or data definition language for example creating database right so we create a database so create database and the database name so this is more of a defining we are defining the database right then we are creating the table so create table we are creating something so create table with the id name these are the columns so we are again defining the table within a particular database or we are dropping the database or dropping the table we are deleting it right so we are actually defining the schema or we are updating the schema right so when we define something when we uh, ensure that we are defining database defining table defining constraints that's what data definition language is all about and it's a SQL statement right but the differentiation is that when we define something we categorize that as data definition language and when we manipulate the data within the table that is stored that's data manipulation language right so as the name suggests data manipulation language so what it stands for it stands for data manipulation language dml it changes only data so data that is stored within the table so once you have defined database once you have defined how many tables will be there which columns will be there the next thing is you will populate the data right so the, for example employee personal information is the table that you created now table will be empty initially then you will be inserting some data data there right so you insert the data within do, those table so what you are doing you are manipulating the data right you are actually working with data and trying to push that data within the table that you have defined so that's what data manipulation language is all about when you try to push the data within the table try to fetch the data try to update the data right anything that you do with the data within the database and table is done by the data manipulation language and please remember ddl versus dml the differentiation is the way you use these sql queries but both of them are the sql queries right so they are the queries of the structured query language so dml helps to manipulate manage data inside the database table using dml you can insert delete update the data right and some of the important dml keywords are insert update you know delete select is limited form of dml because when we say select we are fetching the data but we are not a sort of updating so it's a limited form of dml but it is a data manipulation language keyword as well okay then uh, there are much so you can go through google search for dml statements go to go to oracle.com uh, some of some genuine sort of website and you will get all these details from there right so no need to um, make sure that you buy hard each and every keyword that is there in dml and ddl the concept 
needs to be clear when we say data definition language in your mind you should be clear yes we are defining something so you will be able to easily categorize those statements which are defining something or defining the schema in sql as ddl when you are working with the data you will be easily by looking at the statements you will be able to understand yes i am working with data and manipulating the data that means this particular statement is data manipulation language statement right so examples of data manipulation so insert into right so we are inserting the values insert into a table and then within the column we are inserting the values right so i'll cover all of this in detail these statements so don't worry as of now from interview point of view you need to be clear difference between data definition language and data manipulation language the second statement is basically which is limited form of dml is select statement you are selecting the data out of a particular table or based on certain query right so it's fetching the data and providing that data to you so select is another limited form of data manipulation language statement okay so to summarize the difference between data definition language and data manipulation language is that data definition language will define the schema of the database okay the structure and data manipulation will help you to manipulate the data within the database and table fetch it insert it etc all right so that's all for this tutorial i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching